Ordinarily, retirees spend time at home with their sons and grandchildren, but they were forced out today in a burning sun to protect their investment. Their message is simple to the finance minister. They want their bonds exempted from the government's domestic debt exchange program. Uh, we are here to ask the government to exempt it totally from the animal they call domestic debt exchange program. We have paid our dues, we have worked so hard, and we don't want to be part of this program. If you want people to be part of this program, not pensioners, it's only insensitive people who call pensioners to sacrifice at this time. Are they ready to sacrifice? What sacrifice have they made? The government is seeking to restructure its public debt, estimated at 575 billion cities, in order to qualify for a bailout from the International Monetary Fund. Several deadlines have already been postponed as bondholders reject the program over possible losses on their investments. Banks, insurance and securities industry associations have however agreed to sign on to the program. With just one working day left, the pensioners maintain they have to be exempted from the debt exchange. Even though we know that over a third of you have bonds that are beyond the five years, as we said it today, you know, 12 years and up. So we brought it to, to the five years, okay? Then we looked at it and said, look, on average, you know, um, to be honest with everybody and everybody knowing the numbers, um, the return on your bonds is about 18.5% on average. Okay, so looking at all of the categories, we say, well, these are our retirees. Let's include those 59 who will be 60 this year and give them 15%. So the fight that we are presumably fighting here is the difference between 15 and 18.5%. Finance Minister Ken Oforiata argued that the new bonds have improved terms for bondholders urging the pensioners to participate in the exercise. They've been able to control things for pension funds. All we are asking is we should be put on the same level as the pension funds. Because we are worse than the people who are going to collect those pension funds tomorrow. We have collected ours and it's in danger of vanishing under this scheme. Or we are in danger of dying from lack of medication and other things on this scheme. So it's unacceptable. It's unfair. But the pensioners were not convinced with the minister's argument. We know that you talk about moving from zero to 15. But you see, none of us contracted bonds at zero percent. So it's hard for us to even make a comparison from zero. For us, we look at it from what terms we accepted when we took our bonds that were issued. And if we are haggling over 3%, that should tell you how dire our situation is and how vulnerable we are. If 3% means so much to us, so that's what we want you to look at. We are asking for you to totally exempt us from this program. We are not that many you know. You know the total value. You do know that a third of us or so go beyond 5%. But those uh, uh, five years. But you know, when people were buying bonds, they saw the terms of the bonds. And they had objectives when they bought bonds. Their objectives are that they are looking for maturities to match certain plans in their lives. The pensioners vowed to continue picketing at the finance ministry till they are completely exempted from the debt exchange.